Hello, welcome to the level one pipe bending series. This video will teach you how to bend offsets. So with regard to pipe bending, I would say the most popular bend you would bend is 90 degrees. And second most popular bend will be an offset. So pay attention and I will show you how to do it. First of all, we're gonna do it to a prescribed height and prescribed angles. Afterwards, we're gonna move on to situations which will be more relevant to real life plumbing scenarios. An offset is bending a pipe to achieve your desired height. And to do this, you would need to bend the pipe twice. And the angle is always the same angle. So for example, this pipe here is 45 degrees, so we bent it back 45 degrees. Okay, so that's the basics. So the first offset we're gonna be looking at has got the angles and the height specified. So let's do that one first, and then we'll look at some more usual plumbing type of offsets that you'll come across. Right, so let's have a look at our first offset we're gonna do. So it's got to be so, what it is, just looking at it. So, from the middle to middle, so, so from middle to middle, it's got to be 100 mil, and hence the clips are 100 mil apart. Right, so to do this, we have got 500 millimeters of 15 mil pipe. Okay. So I've just roughly allowed 400 mil and 100 mil. I've just added it up, but there's gonna be some excess. Right, so the first job is we want the 120 mil in, we want the center of the bend of a 45 degree bend. So what we do is we measure One, two, O, M, M. Okay, so we've measured 120 mil in, like that. That's the first job. And we've now got to bend this 45 degrees. Right, so we put 120 mil in, because we don't want this side to move. We have this side touching the stop. And if you watched my first video on this, part one, we already marked out the 45 degree center mark, which is here, so there. So that's why, so if you spend a bit of time marking out the benders, it makes it really easy. Okay, like that. Right, so in case you forgot how I got the mark, what I did, folding ruler, 45 degrees, like that. 40, so as a recap, 45 degrees. Ruler's touching the former in two spots. One, two, straight with a pipe. And where the two rulers intersect, that's the centre of the 45 degrees. Now we bend the pipe 45 degrees. So we're aiming for this mark here roughly. But because we're being assessed, we're gonna we're gonna then as we get near, as we get a lot under, we're gonna bring in the folding ruler just so we can be a hundred percent accurate. So we're gonna push it in, release the pressure a bit so it springs a little bit if it does. So I would say that's exactly forty-five there. Yeah. You can see the centre of the bend line. Okay. Right, so let's have a look. That's what we've done so far. So now, because we bent this 45, we need to bend this back 45, but we need to measure it. So this bit here, 
from there to, from middle to middle is a hundred mil. So we can draw just a line using a fine pen. put it on the bottom line, put your pipe underneath so it touches and then give it a little look. I'll do a mark there. If we now put our pipe back into the pipe bender, so the line that we just drew, we want touching the edge of the former. So we wiggle it along. So that's not quite touching yet. You can just see a little bit of a gap there. So let me just zoom in a bit closer. So we want a small gap there. So we're going to just do it so the line touching the edge which I would say is about there. So right, we'll then put the guide in. <laughs> Make sure the pipe's nice and straight. So for example that's not straight, it's nice and straight. And we then bend this back 45 degrees. So we bend it back. Take the pressure off. So about there. And you can also check it with a ruler going across like that. Jig, pipe in. So that's lining up there. See my center mark there. That's lining up nicely. And we then then like that like that okay so the proof is in the pudding it fits into the jig then the final thing we need to do the overall length has got to be 400 mil so we then just put the pipe there 400 mil And there you have it, an offset. Let's have a look at a more typical real life situation. So you've got some pipe coming up here and you've got some pipe here and you need to get from there to there by doing an offset. Right, so the first thing you need to do to do this is you need to know so we're using 15 mil pipe, right? So we need, we need to know the center to center measurement. So if you look here, the center to center measurement is 50 mil. Right, so the next question is, what, so what angle do we need to bend this and this? To get you started, I've put together the most common bent angles and the minimum offset you can get by bending to them angles. Okay, to, to get you started, this is quite a useful display board, but after a while, you'll just know by instinct what bends to do for what offset. Right, so for example, if I bent my pipe 45 degrees, to an offset, 
the smallest offset I could achieve would be 61 mil. Or if I wanted to bend an offset 90 degrees, the smallest center to center offset would be 145 mil. Let's have a look at, let's have a look at an example then. So, the, so we're about to bend 50 mil, 15 mil copper center to center. So if I was to bend it 60 degrees, my offset, the smallest offset I could achieve would be 95 mil. If I was to bend it 45 degrees, the smallest offset I could achieve would be 61 mil. If I was to bend my offset 30 degrees, the smallest offset I could achieve would be 35 mil. So we could use this one. And if you then look at the, if we bend it 15 degrees, our offset, the smallest offset we can get is 15 mil. So we can do it, we could either use 15 degrees or 30 degrees. But I always recommend so when you do offsets to go for the steepest possible bend that will fit. Look what's happened. Yes. Okay. Right, so we now, we, we, we now know that we're going to bend this 30 degrees and back 30 degrees. So we could do it the, we could do it the original way to do it. So we, what we could do, so we could do like 50. So. Right, so what we do, just do a bit of a mark here. So we want the bend in to start about somewhere here. Do a mark about there. Put this mark to go just where the start of the bending process happens. So on the first video, we worked out where that is. So it's there. Right, we're going to bend this 30 degrees, which we know is that first mark there. But never trust these marks if you're doing an assessment. Always verify it with something reliable. So that's what we've done so far. I've just put it in to show you what we've done so far. Now, well, I'm going to show you another technique, but just, um, just just to recap, the first technique we can still use. I've done two lines, 50 mil apart. Put your guide in the bottom, and then mark in a line across. So that method will work. Let me just show you to mark into the bender just so that line touches the edge of the former like that what we then do is make sure the pipe's nice and straight which it is and we then bend it back round 30 degrees So verify it with a ruler. Like that. What we then do is we then put the pipe. We then put the pipe into the. And there you have it. So that's one way of doing it. Let me show you a more an, an even more typical way that you would do this without drawing it out. Put the pipe in. I want the start of the bend to be about here. Put a mark. Put a mark there. Start of bend. Run it up there. Run it up there. Bend it 30 degrees. So we take the pipe out and put it in like this. Like that. Is we then put the ruler onto the Former like this. Hold it parallel, and we then take a measurement. So in this case, that's reading about thirty mil. Like that. We then wiggle it a bit more. We keep doing it till we achieve fifty mil. So we then put the ruler onto it. Hold it parallel like this, and we then take a reading. So that's reading. 
about 40 mil. Then wiggle it a bit bigger. Do it again. The ruler. Parallel. I'd say that's. I'd say that's about 50 mil. And make sure the pipe's straight. And then bend it back 30 degrees. And then put the pipe in. If you remember the, so if you remember earlier, we said it's best to do the steepest bend possible. So looking at the charts, a 30 degree bend is the steepest bend possible to achieve a 50 mil offset. Right, but you could also bend it less than 30 degrees. So let's show you what it would look like when you bend it, say 15 degrees. And why, or when I'll show you why it's always best to bend it as steep as possible. This was the one bent using 30 degrees, and this was the one bent using 15 degrees. Okay, so that's the 15 degree one, and that's the 30 degree one. Okay, so in my opinion, it's always best, so it's always best to bend it as steep as possible, otherwise it will start to look like this, your bends. And it comes with practice what angle to bend it at. So you haven't got to memorise the charts. After lots of bending, you'll just get to know. Now you know how to bend an offset, it's your turn to have a go.